One of the greatest butterflyers that the world has ever seen. He holds the world record in the 200 meter butterfly, breaking Michael Phelps' world record in the event at just 19 years old. In this video, we're gonna break down his stroke technique. We're gonna watch his butterfly in slow motion above the water and below the water, so that way you can learn how you can take your butterfly to the next level. If you guys are new here, welcome to my Swim Pro, where we share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video and let's begin right away we watch the butterfly stroke underwater it is a work of art we're actually gonna go and swatch this in slow motion to really see what is going on let's go one quarter speed and you can see a lot of things are happening right now but I want to pause and I'm gonna animate on the screen what's going on so obviously when we're doing butterfly we're gonna have this sine curve motion with the body and what you're trying to do when you swim any stroke is you're trying to minimize the amount of resistance that you have have in the water. So this blue box is your displacement in the water. I'm actually going to draw it a little bit smaller, more realistic. So this is the total displacement in the water. The more narrow you can make this box, the faster you're going to go in theory. Now in butterfly, it's a little bit more complicated because you're actually creating propulsion in both directions on the up kick and the down kick on that dolphin motion. You're also generating power as you press your chest down and that's what makes your hips go up. So we're gonna watch that again in slow motion and pay attention to those things, how the body is actually moving in that up and down pattern. So right here you can actually see that the chest is a little bit lower. So when we draw that line, kind of intersect the body, that sine curve, right now the chest is pressing down and that's generating a lot of power to get the hips up. Because if the hips are dragging through the water, you're gonna end up swimming really slow. This applies to all the different strokes, not just in butterfly. Okay, so that's really important. It also leads with the head. So if we watch, his head is really pressing down with his chest. Now let's look at what his hands are doing, because I think this is really important um, on, the, on the catch. So right away we see these early vertical forearms engaging on both sides. Oh, there it is. And I'm actually gonna draw it here. So you can see how he's generating that power when his hand enters the water and he's really positioning himself to catch the water immediately. In butterfly, a lot of swimmers uh, do this wrong, especially in the 200 butterfly, the longer the race, you're actually gonna have sort of this like out sweep and then it's like a pull down and we don't want that. And what he's doing really well, we're gonna slow this down and watch it here. He engages and pulls in a straight line immediately. There's no hesitation out in front. And let's put it in a little bit faster speed. You can see out in front here, we'll get back to that underwater pull. You can see what he's doing as he breathes. Let's go ahead and pause it. So right now, if we draw a line here for the water line, okay, his head is just above the surface of the water. He's breathing, looking forward. I did see him glance a little bit over to the side. Uh, maybe he's trying to peek to see if he's ahead of the field, which um, by the way, yeah, I think he's I think he's ahead of the field. So at this point, you can see the head is at the highest point above the water. Now you don't wanna go too high because if the head goes up too high, the hips are gonna sink. And remember, after you get the breath, the head goes down and that pushes the hips up. This is really important. A lot of swimmers forget about this in the butterfly. You have to press the chest down. So I'm gonna draw a green box here. This is the chest. Whatever is above the water right now is gonna be below the water right here. And so good butterfly, you actually transition these two phases. So the upper body is above the water and then after the breath happens, then we press the head down and then the hips go up. Okay, so I drew a lot on the screen. Let's go ahead and watch it here and you can see that the hips come up. Every single stroke, the butt is popping up out of the water. There's the butt, hips pop up. And you can see it, he presses his chest down, driving forward momentum. You're not really going up and down so much as you're going uh, forward power. So let's watch his turn. There he is, right there. Great streamline, underwater dolphin kick, maintaining a good line right there. And then if you guys notice, a little bit of a pause right here. Do you see that? He's really, that's all upper body. Look how still his, his lower body is. You know, maybe that could have been another dolphin kick. Maybe he's trying to conserve energy right here. That is, that's really interesting. A lot of swimmers I've seen do this in freestyle and butterfly. Um, in terms of absolute speed, he should have added another dolphin kick. Now he might be doing this to conserve energy. Remember this is a 200 butterfly long course, which is a very, very taxing event. Um, and just to maybe illustrate what he's doing. So if you look at his body, right from here to here is absolutely still. 
and I'm gonna put it in slow motion and watch what happens. Nothing, 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 full stroke and then the first dolphin kick. So there's a big delay there. Now I mentioned, let's talk about his pull and what he's doing uh, when he catches the water. And so here's a great illustration of that sine curve, draw the, the horizontal line. And so his chest right here is pressing underneath the water and that allows his hands to be in a good spot to grab the water right here. And so what we're gonna do actually, is we're going to play this forward and see how he pulls the water. That is a beautiful early vertical form and the EVF is what I'm talking about, EVF. This is the early vertical form and that's right here. That's what we're talking about. Actually more specifically right there. And so that's from the fingertips all the way to the elbow that allows you to pull with both hands, kind of like two freestyle strokes at the exact same time. And oftentimes, I mentioned earlier, in butterfly, a lot of swimmers, I'm gonna draw with this with, uh, with the blue, they'll have like an out sweep, and then they'll have an in sweep, and then they'll have this pull. And you don't want that, this is all bad. I'm gonna draw that out. <laughs> you wanna have just this one pattern on both arms to really propel you forward. Two freestyle strokes, at the same time. Don't have any of this swivel nonsense. That's no good. Let's watch it again. And actually, I don't wanna watch above the water yet. We'll come back to that at the end. But here, watch, watch the pull in slow motion. Here we go. So underwater dolphin kicks, immediately grabs the water, keeps his body in line, presses the chest down. And then one other thing to note really quick, look at his ankle flexibility. So if you, if you pay attention to how streamlined the lower half of his body is. I mean, his toes are pointed. Like you can't even tell that he, like you can't even tell that he has feet. His feet are so pointed that it's really unbelievable. And then watch what happens when he does his first dolphin kick, how good his flexibility is. I mean, look at that. Look at that flexibility. That's a beautiful sine curve. And so that's why, you know, wearing fins is a great way to improve your ankle flexibility and just swimming more, kicking more. Um, you don't have to really force it. You can stretch on dry land. You can actually improve your ankle flexibility to get that kind of a flexion. And the reason why you want to do that is because it reduces your drag. It allows you to pull more water, basically. Remember, we talked about on the dolphin kick, you're kicking in both directions up and down. And the more surface area you can create to kick in that up and downward pattern, the faster you're gonna be. And this is not only for butterfly, but any of the strokes, except for breaststroke. <laughs> the breaststroke is, uh, the frog kick is actually uh, more beneficial if you're swimming breaststroke. So now let's go look at, a bit, look at this above the water and we can see what's going on from a different perspective. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in a little bit faster speed. There he is above the water. So he's entering at 11 and one. Look how straight his arms are. Beautiful, that's straight. So this whole recovery phase, basically when the arm is here, that's where you exit. And then all the way around that, these, these motions are completely straight. And he's gonna enter the water at about 11 and one. So let's go ahead and watch and see what happens. There he is. He entered 11 and one, just outside the shoulders, really important. That's the most efficient. His body's really narrow, swimming right down the middle of the lane. Very, very efficient. And let's go ahead and watch this underwater one more time and let's try and pick up on what we learned. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you have any questions. Look at that underwater dolphin kick. Beautiful. As of this video, he is the world record holder in the 200 long course butterfly. If you think he's gonna go even faster at the Olympics, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And hopefully you took something away from this butterfly analysis of one of the greatest butterfly swimmers to ever live. He's right up there with the Michael Phelps in terms of speed and his execution in the 200 butterfly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, if you haven't already downloaded the My Swim Pro app, we've got tons of drills for butterfly and all the other strokes so you can take your swimming to the next level. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy swimming.